Hello everybody and welcome to NWABA's 30 day workout challenge. Great to see you again today. Today is day 29 and we are doing a core workout. Our exercises include the jackknife, V-ups, V-up ins and V-up outs, the lumberjack and a standing crunch. So some new exercises today to really challenge that core on our second to last day of the workout challenge. Our first exercise today is the jackknife and this is a new exercise. So I want you to lie down on the ground with a flat back and your legs out flat. Your arms are actually gonna be extended over your head. So it's almost like you're making a long pencil with your whole body. You're going to lift your feet off the floor towards your head and at the same time move your hands from over your head lifting your shoulder blades off the ground and touching your feet so basically your hands and your feet are going to come together over your abdomen your feet and hands should meet in line with your belly button make sure you breathe enjoy our second exercise is the V up in. We did this a few days ago. So you're gonna stay lying on the ground with a flat back. You're going to lift your legs in the air but hold them there in a V. So your legs are gonna be making a V. Then you're gonna place your hands on top of one another like a pancake. Lift your shoulders and push your pancake or your hands through your legs as far as you can. So your legs are gonna stay in the same position but your hands are gonna move through your legs, then come back down to starting position, through your legs, and then come back down to starting position for the desired amount of repetitions. Okay, so we have the V up out, which is next. So again, you're gonna be in the same position as the V up in. The only thing that changes is your hands. So lie down on the ground with a flat back, lift your legs in the air, making a V with both legs. Place your hands outside your legs. So instead of the pancake in the middle, you're gonna place your left hand outside of your left leg, your right hand outside of your right leg, palms facing down. Lift your shoulders and push your hands past your legs as far as you can go. So this is the V up out. And again, you're engaging your core, which means you're pretending that there's a string from your belly button to your spine, pulling that belly button back, which tilts your pelvis in and you're going to be lifting from your shoulders and chest through your legs. To, so you're gonna, again, push those hands past both legs on the outside. These are called V-ups, outs. Okay, so the next exercise is the lumberjack. One of my favorites, it's a very fun exercise. You're gonna stand up now. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna pretend you're holding an ax with both hands. You're gonna inhale it and lift high above your head. Okay, so you can put both hands high above your head. You're going to then exhale and then pull that ax down all the way through so it swings between your legs. And as you exhale, you're gonna be pulling that ax down. So stand with your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Pretend you're holding onto an ax above your head, both hands, inhale, and then swing down, exhaling, pulling that ax all the way down in between your legs. You're gonna come up again, inhale, up above your head, and exhale, dropping it down between those legs. You can add a weight that you have to hold on to with both hands. Okay, our next exercise is standing crunches. So you're gonna stay standing, stand with your feet shoulder width apart, engaging your core. Raise your hands and place them gently behind your head. If they can't, don't go behind your head, that's okay. You just want to have them up towards your ears. Keep your knees slightly bent and your feet stationary. Exhale and lower your chest to your knees, stopping around weight, waist height. Come back to standing position and then back down again. Remember to breathe, engage your core, and keeping your back flat as you go down into that waist level position. Okay, everybody, time to put it all together for day 29 core. 
Before I go into the the amount of repetitions, what I want you to know is that you can have rest between each exercise or each skill. Uh, What I would encourage you to do today is to decrease that rest time so you're keeping your heart rate up. So 45 second, 30 second rest in between each exercise would be great to keep that, that heart rate up as you're going through the circuit. You could also go from one skill to the next with no rest and complete one round of the circuit, have a minute break, then complete the second round of the circuit, one minute break, and then do the third. So there's different ways that you can vary it up. Mostly what we want to do is focus on having not as much rest time to keep our heart rate up, which in turn burns more calories. So for our repetitions today, we have 30 jackknives, 30 V-ups, with our hands in in a pancake, then 30 V-ups out, our hands outside our legs. We have 30 lumber jacks and then 30 standing crunches. That completes one round uh, of this circuit for today. Repeat for three to five rounds. Thank you for joining us for day 29 of NWABA's 30-day workout. I cannot believe tomorrow is our last day. And we are so excited to have you with us. So tomorrow is a total body workout. We are going to be pushing our limits and getting our heart pumping and sweating together. We hope to see you tomorrow. Have a great day and have a great workout.